Are you facing issues with the rear door lock on your Toyota 4Runner? Look no further. In this video, we'll be tackling the common rear door lock problem that many 4Runner owners face. So sit back, and let's get started on fixing this issue once and for all. 1. A worn or damaged door lock mechanism often causes the Toyota 4Runner rear door lock problem. From regular use, the parts of the locks can become fatigued, making it difficult to open and close them. These mechanisms may be compromised in extreme cases due to exposure to harsh weather conditions or other environmental elements. 2. Faulty actuator or solenoid If the actuators or solenoids in your Toyota 4Runner are damaged, it could be causing issues with the door lock. These components can control and initiate the locking system, so if they're not working properly, you may experience difficulty trying to unlock or lock your doors. 3. Electrical or wiring issues Electrical difficulties can be the root cause of a malfunctioning Toyota 4Runner rear door lock. The locking system needs electrical power to operate, and if there is an issue with the wiring or connections, it may not open close appropriately. Corrosion or other destruction caused to the wires could also bring about issues. 4. Dirty or clogged lock mechanism The rear door lock of your Toyota 4Runner can experience issues if the locks become clogged with dirt or debris over time. This buildup may make it difficult, or even impossible, to open and close the door correctly. 5. Problem with the door latch or striker If the Toyota 4Runner's door latch and striker are misaligned or beginning to malfunction, they will be unable to keep the door properly closed. This can lead to a rear door lock problem making it difficult to open your vehicle when needed. To prevent this, ensure that these two components are regularly inspected and serviced if necessary. How to Diagnosis Inspecting the door lock mechanism for wear or damage Inspecting the door lock mechanism for wear or damage is the first step in diagnosing the Toyota 4Runner rear door lock problem. This involves visually inspecting the mechanism for signs of wear or damage, such as scratches, rust, or bent parts. If the mechanism is worn or damaged, it will likely need to be replaced. Checking for power and continuity to the actuator or solenoid To properly diagnose the Toyota 4Runner's rear door lock issue, it is essential to use a multimeter to check for power and consistency in the actuator or solenoid. Moreover, look out for any signs of destruction or corrosion. If you realize either of these is defective, they will need changing immediately. Inspecting the wiring and connections for damage or corrosion Diagnosing the Toyota 4Runner rear door lock dilemma requires close attention to wiring and connection integrity. Visually assess the cables and attachment points for any damage or oxidation while testing their continuity and the power supply. If deterioration is present in either of these parts, they must be replaced immediately to restore functionality. Checking the door latch and striker for proper alignment and operation. To properly diagnose the Toyota 4Runner rear door lock issue, you must conclude by checking the alignment and functioning of both the latch and striker. Examine them visually for any indications of damage or wear. Should either appear broken, they may need to be adjusted or replaced completely. By correctly performing this last step in the diagnosis, your problem will surely be solved. We hope this video has shed some light on the problem and provided possible solutions to fix it. If you still have trouble, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Toyota dealership for assistance. I hope this video has provided helpful information and solutions for those facing this problem. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and be sure to visit our site for additional resources and updates. Thank you for watching.